certain supplements help boost your immune system in the fight against COVID-19? Well, one local researcher says yes, and he told News 3's Kurt Williams it's not just the ones you'd expect like vitamin C. Dr. Paul Merrick, the chief of EV EVMS's pulmonary and critical care, reached these conclusions in part because of his groundbreaking work on bacterial sepsis. We actually realize, and this is really fundamental, that COVID-19 has very similar characteristics to severe bacterial sepsis. Because you saw similarities in COVID with sepsis, you thought that it was worth trying to see if the same thing that was beneficial with sepsis would be beneficial with COVID as well. Absolutely. So it appears that vitamin D deficiency may increase your risk of getting the infection and of doing really badly if you get it. This is particularly important because, you know, we've just come out of winter. Most people are indoors. They don't get enough sun exposure. The vitamin D levels are low. So particularly in elderly people, people that are inbound, people of color, their vitamin D levels are lower. What about zinc? Yeah, so zinc's really important. So zinc is very important for immune function. Is for your, your cells to work efficiently, you need zinc. What's this about melatonin could be beneficial? Yes. So, <laughs> you know, when people see melatonin, they say, wow, what are you talking about? So we added melatonin to our sepsis protocol because, you know, people use it for sleep. But actually, it's a very potent antioxidant. It's one of the most potent antioxidants. And now there are a number of papers showing that it's actually a very efficient agent to actually help the body kill the virus. What did you find out about taking Pepsid? So we know that Pepsid specifically, again, interferes with viral replication. And a study out of New York showed that patients who got Pepsid had a lower risk of landing on a ventilator and dying of COVID. So are you taking all of these supplements? Absolutely, yes. And I'm as strong as a bull. That's good information.